Hey, we're Mason and Sarah, and this is episode three of our 4x4 Toyota Highest build. And this is a massive episode. In this episode, the van is going to be completely finished. We have heaps of stuff to do and really bad weather, but I reckon we'll get it done. We so, have to. Let's get into it. <laughs> Got the sink here. I'm getting ready to install this into the bench top. I've just used the template that comes with the sink now. So, marking it out. Got the sink in the bench top just sitting in there. Um, now, I'm going to do the cutout for the tap. And then once they're both done, I've got to do a hole for the grey water. All right, for the sink's grey water, where it's going to run out of the van, we're going to run it through the floor and out onto the ground or into a bucket or whatever. We'll just catch it that way. Oh, my God. I'm trying to show people me. So what I've done is drilled a hole. <laughs> drilled a hole, a pilot hole, through the floor of the... <laughs> Do you want to see the hole moves? Stop. I've drilled a hole through the floor of the um, highest just to make sure that I have a big enough spot to get some pipe through. So what I'll do now is I'll grab the hole saw and I'll drill a bigger hole for my pipe to run through. Got my pilot hole just there. I know it's all clear now because I've just checked. I've got a 40 mil hole saw bit, which I'm going to continue drilling through that hole. That'll give me enough space for my pipe to run through the bottom of the sink and down through the floor of the van. So that is my hole all done through the floor. I'm just going to give that all a clean up. I'll file all the edges of the metal and I'll give it a rust guard spray to prevent any rusting and everything just to protect the raw metal. And then that's all good for me to run pipe through now. So this is a step pretty much finished. We framed it up and put some laminate flooring on it in the last episode. If you want to see how we did that, go check out episode two. But we put some trims on it as well and they just need a bit of a sand and a coat or two of stain and then they should be should be all done should be ready to go <laughs> So it is a mess in here, but basically this is going to be our bed area. So we're having a fixed bed, double mattress. And then along this wall and then up the wall, we're going to have some storage, sort of intended for clothes storage. So we'll have a lift up box come up about halfway-ish. Um, and then we're going to have a wardrobe as well. So Mason's busy building them at the moment. So we'll see where he's up to. So how's it going? Going nice. What are you up to? I am building that little storage box that we're gonna do along the side of the bed for yep. clothes and whatnot. So I've just cut up some 18 mil white ply we're gonna use for it. Nice. And I'm just lining it up now and about to clamp it together and I'm only gonna nail gun this one, not screw it. Cool. Yeah. We've popped the box in and then also our kitchen bench with the sink and tap. We went with black sink and tap. Uh, and those are our tiles as well that we're thinking. So I've sort of pieced it together because we're trying to decide what box to use, sorry, what lid to use for this box. I've currently got a piece of birch ply on top that's been limed, like so like with the whitewash. Um, I don't know, I'm not convinced though. Mason's doing the wardrobe now. So yeah, I've started on this wardrobe. Um, Got my two sides, which right, took me ages, but what I've done is worked on that one, got it right, and then just uses it for the template for that side. So it's all good now. I'm just doing this front bit here. So they'll go like that there. And then this bit will go up the top. We're gonna see the raw plywood edges. And then we'll have some cupboard doors. Yeah, just two cupboard that doors. That sort of open outwards. Yeah, um, yeah that's not, it. Not sure if there'll be shelves or hanging space or both. Yeah. We'll see. We have good news. We found a piece of Tassie Oak bench top that we're gonna use for the box lid. And it's gonna match the rest of the Tassie Oak in the van. So much better than the birch ply or anything else would. So I'm super happy that we found this. It looks really good. We've got that Tassie Oak bench top for the storage box. Mason's cut it to size and I'm just doing the holes for the hinges. Mason is making the wardrobe door fronts. So we're just doing white ones with like a um, ply, white ply frame around them. And then we've got some nice black handles for them as well. So yeah, hopefully these are good together. 
I am currently working on our tiled splash rack. You can sort of see it behind me there. So that will go behind our sink and tapping kitchen area. And the tiles we are using are these gray rectangle tiles. They've got a bit of like a concrete look. Um, I just got them from Tile Cloud and we are doing like a brick pattern. You can sort of see the way that we're laying it behind me. So yeah, hopefully this turns out pretty good. Just customizing the pull-out kitchen now. So I've got the stove top up here, just measuring everything up and I'm gonna build like a little bench top for the uh, stove top to sit on and then a bit of a storage space for pantry items next to it. So I've just cut up the first divider. I haven't actually fixed it in place. It's just wedged in there. I've done it so that has enough space to open up to replace the canister for the stove when it's empty. So what I'll do now is I'll fix that one in place and then I'll build the bench top that the stove's gonna sit in. Divider's all done and bench top for the stove top's all done. So now I'm gonna do a bench top in this top section here. Radio, Monday morning. This is the week we get the van done. Bloody oath it is. We got Mason behind me. He's hanging those wardrobe doors that we finished off oh. last week. How's it going? It's going well so far. I've got the first one hung, but the second one, once you've got that up, that's when you can start to run into some issues. So I'm only seconds away from getting this one up. So we'll <laughs> Let's see what issues I've got. Fingers crossed, <laughs> no issues. <laughs> so we left the tiles to dry overnight and I'm just starting the grout now. So I've got my grouting things and we're just using a light gray grout. I've done this side, so I've just got to do the rest of the splash back. So hopefully it comes up good. It's my first time grouting, but Mason's done it lots of times and he's given me a bit of a crash course, so we should be sweet. Okay, grouting is done. I'm no professional tiler, but I reckon these look pretty good considering. I'm keen to see it with the sink and tap in as well. So I am just running around this morning. Uh, we broke our drawer slides <laughs> that were in the pull-out kitchen. So I have been to pick up a new pair and now I am heading to our cushion place. Um, so we've got a cushion for that bench seat. So I'm gonna go to the place where we get that made up and pick that up and then get to Mason's and start work for the day. <laughs> Hey Moose. Moose. Okay, it is the following day and we have had some issues with the wardrobe doors. Oh, fucking oath, have we? And lining them up properly and the hinges and everything. Hinges with wrong hinges, apparently different degrees really impact on how the door opens. But I think we're nearly there. <laughs> I hope so. And over here, we have another issue. It's our Kelpie. Digging a hole. <laughs> Look at all that dirt on your nose. <laughs> so we've got the cupboard doors done. I don't want to talk about what happened. No, I will. So <laughs> just like <laughs> the angle of the roof makes it so hard to try and line it up. Also, use two different hinges at the start without realizing. So that was a battle. But we got there in the end. So it's done. I've won the war. And now it's time for the handles. We're using just black handles they're nice and simple but they're gonna look awesome we just got them from Bunnings and to install them to save some more headaches I'm using a Craig handle install jig so all you have to do these two silver points here you just get the uh, width or the distance between the two screw points for the back side of the handles so you just line them up there and then all I'll have to do is just line that up on the cupboard fronts where I need to do and I'll just drill through there and then it's a matter of just literally putting your handle and tightening from the back side with the screw so it'd be nice and easy cool good stuff finally Ooh, those are our handles on yeah cool i think we decided we're going to do hanging space as well at the top so we'll have a bar and then um some like rotating coat hangers they work best because the wardrobe's pretty thin Everything is wet and rainy and miserable, but Mason is mounting the kitchen again uh, with those new drawer slides that I picked up today. 
which is good and then this is our cushion as well so yeah looks cool all right so our kitchen is in officially with the new drawer slides got our little spot for the stove and then some storage underneath as well look at this horrible weather this is our current situation we've got the awning out it's been raining all morning got mason in here somewhere Biden. pretty bad but I'll tell you what's worse, paying rent on a factory. I don't know, I reckon I'm paying it at the moment. This is pretty bad lately. Nah, but we're just doing a few we're odd jobs done. today. We're nearly done. We're pretty close, um, but we've just been, yeah, doing some finishing touches. So I will show what we've been doing. There is shit everywhere, but we put carpet along the edges of the bed base so that when the mattress sits on there um wow look at my beautiful hands yeah hand model <laughs> um when the mattress sits on there you don't see timber you'll see a bit of carpet because obviously like mattress corners are rounded so you'll see carpet instead of timber so that'll just look a bit nicer we plugged up screw holes um what else do we do? There's carpet along the front there. Mason's hanging the curtain wire. I've dropped the screw oh. between the kitchen and the thing and my arm's like stuck down there. I'm just like touching it around. I can't find it. <laughs> I need you slender, slender arms. I was wondering what you were doing. So we fixed the bench top in and the sink and also finished framing up this window as well. Um, there's like a little shelf so you could put Oh, that doesn't fit. All right, Mason said it was funny that my drink bottle didn't fit, so I'll show you with something else. <laughs> so you could just put a little can of spray piece in there if you want to. So we have installed all of our curtain rods. We've got four, one across the back, one across the front, and the two windows. Um, so I'm measuring them up at the moment so that I can start making up the curtains. We've bought some nice... They're actually curtains already, they're from Ikea, but I love the material of them, so they're big curtains, I'm just going to cut them up and then sew them so that they fit these windows. So these are the curtains that I'm using that I got from Ikea. I might take one out of the packet actually and I'll show you the material. So this is the fabric, it's like a uh, off-white sort of colour, sort of like a linen, uh, they're not like fully sheer, but they're quite lightweight, so... Yeah, they should look good. I'm gonna go get to cutting and sewing them now. Good morning, everyone. We are on the absolute home stretch of the van now. So today I'm only working a half day. Sarah's not happy about it, but I am leaving to play golf. So. <laughs> Before I go and play golf, I am gonna get a start on the electrical. There's not much in terms of electrical going in there. It's pretty simple with like a lithium battery, a battery charger, a couple USB points and down lights. So what I'm gonna do is installing the battery system into there and probably what I'll, all I'll get done is just do the lights, the fan, and just a couple of other things out of Sarah's way. Benny, stop barking. Sorry about the interrupted barking, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to clean all this stuff out of my way. I'll grab all of my electrical stuff. I'll show you what I'm going to be using and then I'll start installing the lights and the fans. All right, this is all the electrical gear that I'm going to be using. So I've got my 100 amp hour lithium battery there. I've got the fan, the water pump, water gauge for the water tank, battery monitor, um, battery charger. So that's got the DC, DC and also it can charge off the solar as well. All my fuses and um, USB points and other little connections and switches in there. And then I've got a 1000 watt inverter, which I'm also going to hook up as well. Got all my down lights done and the fan and the power supply for the shower on the back side of the wardrobe. Next thing I've been doing is I've just started mounting all the battery charger, the inverter, the fuses. So what I'll be able to do next is hook all the wires up to this and get everything powered up. So I've just taken the bit of the bed base off, just that front section to make it a bit easier for myself so you can see into the battery box a bit better. What I'm gonna do now actually is do the water tank. I'm gonna mount that in and quickly get all those connections and get that done and out of the way. And then I've also got all my cabling tucked in the way, uh, tucked in the back bit there. So I'm gonna drill through and get it into this battery box bit so I can start hooking everything up. 
We've got a little bit of sunshine today. It's still wet it's and still cold. Just started shining. But freezing. it's nice though. So I've popped out to pay Mason a visit. <laughs> um, I've been inside doing the curtains, getting there with them. I've nearly finished two sets, so the ones on the front and the back, and then I gotta do the two side windows. Okay, so we are doing some late night shopping. We're at IKEA because we're hoping to get the van finished tomorrow, but we need a mattress to go in it. We finally found it. We found the mattress. So we're gonna head to Bunnings now actually. Tick some things off at night time. Then tomorrow we've got a full day of daylight to work. Look at this. This is our final Bunnings trip of the build. Don't we hope. <laughs> this literally is not relevant to van building at all, but there's a really good donut shop near IKEA. So we had to stop in. Look at these. Wowzers. <laughs> Wowzers. This is it. This is the last day of the build. We have, I've done all the electrical, but the fusing and stuff in the battery box. Sarah's pretty much done the curtains. She's um, really close and she'll do a final paint. And then it's just a big clean, get everything ready for photos. And then she's ready to go on his first trip. Just fixing up one of my mistakes from yesterday because I was rushing off to get to golf and try and get as much done before I get there. Um, I mounted the water tank, hooked all the plumbing up and the electrical for it, but I forgot to put the water gauge in. So I've had to disconnect everything that I connected yesterday pull the water tank out and quickly put this gauge in. So I've got to reconnect everything back up. But yeah, that's that's what I get for rushing. So it's currently about 2 p.m. This is where we're at. We were hoping to have the van done today by about five o'clock. But I don't know, what do you think? I think we've got lights on. I think there's not much more to do. <laughs> I think it's crunched on. Stop. If you just keep video, I will never get it done. <laughs> That's the problem. All right. YouTube video ends here. <laughs> but I have finished the curtains. So they're just inside hanging up because I iron them and the van is way too messy to put them in at the moment. But Mason's pretty close to done with the electrical. And then we need to do like a final touch up paint and do a few more touch up things and clean and then dress the van put the mattress and stuff in so still got a bit to do but i don't know we'll either get it done today and we'll work into the night or we will keep doing it tomorrow we'll see probably definitely not going to get the van done tonight but it's a nice sunset so a bit of late night painting i think i was right i was telling everybody that we would get this done tonight and i've been right if we worked till midnight, I'd be right. But I'm letting you be right. It's sent by ending work now. It is take two of the final day of the van <laughs> build. We will see if we can get it done today. We might need to take three tomorrow. No, it, it has to get done today. It is definitely getting done today. We, all we're doing now is pretty much just cleaning. Sarah's doing a final paint. I'm just cutting the table and putting a face on the front of the sink area and fridge area. And yeah. Yeah, and then we've got to put the mattress and stuff in and make it look all pretty. So, yeah. fingers crossed for today. <laughs> the sun is shining. The van is pretty much done. We've got Mui in here. And it just needs a really big clean. And then we need to put the mattress and the curtains and stuff in. But we're so close. Got my coffee as well. So, I'm going to get to cleaning this out. What do you reckon, Mui? Are you ready? <laughs> She's all clean, had a big vacuum. Whoa, what are you doing? That's pretty, that's <laughs> had a big vacuum, big wipe. Um, now we're gonna chuck the mattress in and the seat cushion and the curtains. Time to put some makeup on it. And that'll be it. Today is actually the day we did that it. we're getting it done. That extra four hours is all we needed yesterday. Ooh. We've got our seat cushion in, the mattress, and also our little swing around table. So. This is cool, it's sort of, you can move it around and then move it this way as well. So you can use it on the seat and the bed. And then we've got Mason at the back. We're just putting all the curtains on the rods and then gonna hang them up as well. We have got the biggest news ever. What is it, Mason? The van is finally finished. We're so done. We we'll show you a little sneak peek. <laughs> Nice. 
We're so happy with it. Well, we did it. It was a big push in the end and at the end there was a lot of arguments. Well, not really, but it got pretty dark between us both for a second there. But we got it done and it looks awesome. Yeah, we are so, so happy that it's done. We're so happy with the final result. So we didn't want to show too much in this video because we will be filming a full van tour soon that's walking you through the entire setup. So make sure you hit subscribe so that you can get notified when that is up. And it's time for a beer, a very yeah. well beer, and to get out of these clothes. So, Absolutely. Yeah. So we'll see you in the van tour.